Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 20 online game. Today we are in the Queen City, which, if you remember from the last time we played with the Carolina Panthers, is Charlotte, North Carolina. But this time we are playing against Cam Newton, not with him. Our quarterback today is Russell Wilson, not just for the Seahawks team, but the man we will be trying to get in the zone today. And we get Russell Wilson on the field pretty early because my opponent puts his hands in the cookie jar and that is a recipe for disaster. So Russell Wilson's X-Factor ability is Blitz Radar, which is pretty unique. He's the only player in regs that has this Blitz Radar ability as we take a couple of sacks early on and that's because we're trying to get Russell Wilson in the zone coming out in this five wide to set up a QB scramble which we do on this play with Wilson a gain of 16 yards and that will add one to the counter for Russell one out of five to the counter as we get this fourth down conversion to Nick Van Nett. yes we have to get five scrambles not just rushes scrambles with Russell Wilson of over 10 yards that's a touchdown pass to Rashad Penny why not left them open we might as well take it Though, at some point, we got to continue scrambling and scrambling with Russell. And as we continue to try to scramble with Russell Wilson, I'm sure my opponent's going to try to put out a quarterback spy. So, this is going to be pretty tough to make happen. Unlike Cam Newton, whose X-Factor ability we just need to rush, I don't think if we run a design run for Russell Wilson, it'll count because it specifically says scramble. So, this is, like I said, going to be definitely a tough one as Cam breaking off the tackle. And Cam Newton is going to go to the crib with this one. Some tough running from Cam. Cam and that is Cam's superstar ability being displayed and that is definitely not Graham Gano displaying any sort of ability by kicking the ball completely out of bounds that'll be us getting the ball at the 40 yard line this will be Russell Wilson getting a gain of about 11 yards on the ground that's enough to get the counter to go to two out of five so we've done some decent work in this first quarter but like I said at some point as we continue to just run around like crazy with Russell my opponent puts out a quarterback spot so that'll make things a lot tougher to try to get these last three scrambles just to get russell wilson in the zone so the blitz radar ability once you do get it it's basically kind of the way you would think it's in the description as russell wilson gets his third game of over 10 yards on the ground we've done some very good work in this first quarter if my opponent sends any sort of blitzes the extra blitzes will be identified which We'll figure out how that works once slash if we get Russell in the zone. Second down and 13. Russell rolling away from the pressure. And look at Russell Wilson. He's actually going to turn this into a positive gain and nearly a first down. And get the counter, I believe, at four out of five. As Wilson looking for Lockett on third and one. And that'll be broken up beautifully by Ross Cockrell. And we are actually not going to take the field goal here. I thought about it. And I was like, yeah, fourth down and one. Let's try to get another screen. Scramble with Russell, maybe a touchdown. We'll see how the play is looking. This play has broken down completely. We are way behind the line, but this is also Russell Wilson esque as we buy time until we run into Luke Keekly. In real life, Russell usually gets that pass off eventually. That's where we made the mistake. I just lost track of who my receivers were once the icons went away and. Uh, yeah, I ran straight into Luke Keekly. Not a great idea. So that's going to be a turnover on downs. The score stays 7-7. Seven seven, but we have made more progress than I thought we would, especially early in this game to get Russell in the zone as Cam Newton is working on his own X-Factor ability the way he's rushing this ball early on. We might have to put out a quarterback spy on Cam as second down. Here's McCaffrey, that double dose in the backfield of Cam Newton and Christian McCaffrey definitely can carry this Carolina Panthers offense a long way so as long as we can contain those two hopefully that is the key to success as Cam throws up a wow a terrible pass they'll be intercepted by Trey Flowers I'll take that one though thank you very much Trey Flowers is struggling to get around Greg Olson who is just big chilling in the end zone just sitting down after he doesn't come up with the pass not sure what's going on there at the end of the day it will be a touchback right before the two minute warning Russell Wilson with some time just gets it off and we try to get DJ Metcalf involved in the action but that will be an incompletion third down and 10 one more time quarterback spy on the field but you know what we could do with quarterback spies we're Russell Wilson absolutely swerve him. What is this? Like Madden 13? We just swerved a quarterback spy just by going left to right? And now Russell Wilson is in the zone. His X-Factor ability has been activated. So we'll see if my opponent is going to blitz. He's got three down linemen, so I really doubt he's blitzing on this play. We're going to try to set up a little jet sweep just to keep Russell in the zone. Guaranteed for at least one play longer. It looks like it takes two sacks to knock Russell Wilson out the zone. I'm assuming if we fumble the ball, that'll knock him out the zone as well. One more time, we have gotten away from the quarterback spy this time Shaq 
Thompson. So he's got some fast players spying Russell, and it still doesn't matter. Minute 28 left in the first half, and this is going to be a beauty from Russell Wilson to Tyler Lockett. That deep connection of Wilson to Lockett was so great last season, and it works in Madden 20 as well, and gives us the lead as Cam Newton trying to make something happen. Not much time left in this first half, though. He does dial up a beautiful pass to Curtis Samuel. So early on, my opponent did not blitz at all, so we weren't able to check out how blitz radar works and my opponent hasn't been blitzing much in this game besides when he just sends the absolute house so hopefully he does that soon i'd like him to blitz me so we can see what's going on here i mean it's cool that we got the touchdown with tower lockett but at some point we worked so hard to get Russell Wilson in the zone. We need to see how this ability is looking. And we'll try to do it on the next play because Cam Newton has fumbled the ball. Cam, we've seen it. You can run around with Cam, but he has a tendency to fumble the ball a lot as Wilson. Still no blitzers and still no quarterback spy that can contain Russell Wilson. Not even Luke Keekly can stop Russell Wilson as we go to lock it. A beautiful pass from Russell, but maybe a possession cash would have been the right idea there. That'll be dropped third down and four. One more time, Russell trying to make something happen with his legs, going out of bounds with just eight seconds left. That'll give us a chance to try to get at least into field goal range. Going to dial up the bubble screen to Lockett, but Elder's able to box that up beautifully one-on-one -on -one in the open field with Lockett. So on the final play of the first half, knowing that he's definitely not blitzing, we're going to actually... Let Chris Carson touch the ball for the first time. I don't think we've look, even attempted to run the ball. So, shout out to Chris Carson. Here's the Blitzers. There it is. Double A gap pressure. And the Blitz radar has identified both of them. So, it looks like that's how the Blitz radar is going to work. You get an exclamation point to show up. And now that I've showed you how the Blitz radar works, Russell Wilson is out of the zone. Of course. Of course, Russell Wilson is not only on his own, but K1 Short with that awkward running motion is in for six and the game is tied. I got a little bit too panicky there trying to step. I don't know where my center went. I thought my center was going to be able to protect me, so I stepped up in the pocket. I was like, oh man, the quarterback's five. What do I do? And then I fumbled the ball. And on top of that, big old K1 Short's got the juice to take it back. So um, that was pretty disastrous. Thankful we got to see how the Blitz Raider looked before. I got myself knocked out the zone. So like I said, it takes two sacks a lot. I, that was one sack, I believe, but since we fumbled the ball, that was pretty much it for us. Once again, that deep ball connection of Wilson to Lockett. You need to stop Tyler Lockett downfield if you want to stop this offense. And that is exactly what Eric Reed has done. The, more than anything else, that was just a terrible play call by me. Like that route that I had Tyler Lockett on, it was like a up and like then go to the middle. Like It was not good, all right? <laughs> I would not suggest running that thing. I'll probably never run that play again in my life. I've learned my lesson. Eric Reed has taught me my lesson. Here's Cam. He's fumbled again. This time, though, the Panthers able to recover. So now that we've taken care of Russell Wilson's X-Factor ability in the game, we'll try to win this game at this point while using Russell Wilson to his max potential because Russell Wilson is pretty crazy to use in this game. As you guys have noticed, the way we swerve quarterback spies, one of Russell Wilson's superstar abilities is escape artist i believe it's called where you're able to once you leave the pocket you get that speed boost to run around like crazy like russell does in real life i believe lamar jackson has a superstar ability cam should have it as well and i think Patrick mahomes is the other quarterback that has it and as you guys saw with russell wilson like it's pretty dang glitchy what we can do with them as we get the big hit on scarlet Big third down and four in this game. Cam to McCaffrey. And McCaffrey shakes off a big tackle attempt from Blair. Gets the first down and... We gotta try to win this game and we're not doing a good job at that because Cam Newton has found the end zone the go ahead touchdown for the Carolina Panthers. Remember, we were marching downfield to get the lead and then we threw the interception trying to hit a lock it on that awkward route. Now my opponent has answered with a touchdown drive and has left us about three minutes to work with here. We'll see if Russell Wilson can come up clutch. Russell Wilson has had a knack of coming up clutch in his career and Tyler Lockett has... Hasn't had a knack of throwing stiff arms, but he has on that play. Getting to the 34-yard line. We've got plenty of time to work with here. It's just whether we can make this happen. As K1 Short gets his second sack of the game. We're going to give Chris Carson a pitch. Let Chris Carson do his thing. Stiff arm the defender. Past the line. First down. We're actually going to get one more pitch off. Hopefully before the two-minute warning. He's not changing his defense. The play worked last time. It should work again. The block's aligned. And Chris Carson looking for the first and more. Carson out of bounds. The two-minute 
warning nonetheless hits and Russell Wilson at the 43 yard line needing a touchdown he's got three and of course that quarterback spy as you see Wilson with all day it's almost impossible to bring Russell Wilson down with pressure Russell Wilson will dictate when Russell Wilson goes down in a play and Chris Carson will dictate when Chris Carson goes down in a play what a stiff arm but doesn't do as much as far as trying to get in the end zone the third down and five we're looking for Nick Van Nett in the middle of the field what a play to the 12 yard line we go just 52 seconds left as he sends the blitz and burns gets Wilson the all-out blitz is the answer to stopping Russ now just 28 seconds left in the game here's Wilson scrambling past the line and going out of bounds stopping the clock with 24 seconds left still a third down and 13 Wilson looking for Van Nett and that will be incomplete that didn't really have much of a chance here we go the game on the line fourth down and 13 a tough situation for us Russell Wilson to a wide open Nick Van Nett and we've got ourselves a touchdown and now the PAT is up and good and the game is somehow tied with just 16 seconds left Russell Wilson has done it again hopefully to at least send this game to overtime we have left Cam all of his timeouts and enough time to try to get in Graham Gano's field goal range which is a lengthy range as that as he's trying to go for it all and that'll be swatted by Shaq Griffin. Now just eight seconds left. Cam five wide. We're gonna try to send some pressure. Hopefully force a turnover. Try to win the game in regulation, and we nearly did it. We had 27 in the hook. He just didn't make the play. Now four seconds left. Probably a hail mary from here. Once again, five wide. Cam quick pass to Olsen trying to get the timeout in, and he's not gonna get it in time. He does call it, but no time left. We're going to overtime. You can see he tried to get in Gano's field goal range, which is. A long ways down because Gano hit a 63-yard game winner against the Giants last year. Unfortunately, I know it too well as a Giants fan. Nonetheless, though, we're going to overtime since he didn't get that pass in in time. And it looks like we're getting the ball first. We have the first crack at offense and hopefully the only crack at offense in overtime. And we can just march this ball downfield. Use a little bit of Chris Carson. Some Tyler locking on a jet sweep. Maybe? Maybe not. Eric Reed says don't try that again. So we will not. Instead, we'll go to the bubble screen to Tyler Lockett. Juking a man out the way. Tyler Lockett trying to win the game. Once again, Eric Reed making big tackles all over the field. Big plays. Here's Wilson rolling, trying to swerve, and he does that. Quarterback spy of Burns. He's giving everybody the business tonight. Second down and three in OT. Wilson seeing a stack box. Everybody's coming, and Keekly comes in on block. Oh, the running back missed his assignment. And now it's third down and 11. Wilson, five wide, three man rush. Going downfield for Penny. And that'll be intercepted by Ross Cockrell. Oh, we threw away field goal range. But we won the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. We have won the game? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what you guys just saw was a game winning safety. Yes. A safety after the interception. Cockrell was given credit for getting the interception at the one yard line. And since Madden does not give you forward progress on interception returns, Cockrell's momentum automatically led my opponent to the end zone. We tackle him in the end zone. And yes, it counts as a safety. So we win the game by throwing an interception in overtime. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to say about that. Like, we didn't deserve that by any means. Like, I kind of feel a little bit bad about that one to the point where I messaged my opponent just to let him know like that was pretty messed up my opponent before I could even message this dude already left Madden and went to like FIFA 19 squad battles or whatever he's in so he's completely dashboarded from Madden he's definitely upset so yeah we sent a message to this guy because that was pretty wrong what happened there I, I I really got nothing to say about that I mean it was a great game nonetheless it's unfortunate it didn't end in a proper manner because that like I said forward progress should have stopped his momentum at the one yard line instead of giving him a safety but um that's mad and it's been like that for all, however long so we'll take the win I guess next time I lose a game in some really weird fashion that'll just be karma evening itself out I suppose so leave a like in the video if you guys did enjoy the game regardless enjoy the Russell Wilson gameplay because he's pretty damn glitchy in this game and you guys enjoy russell with its x factor activated subscribe for more man 19 man 19 man 20 gameplays your subscribe for man 19 gameplays is a little bit too late man 20 i got you and on that note i'll catch you guys next time thank you for watching